Hi guys, Pepper Brown here once again. Uh, just a quick little video blog here. I uh, just want to say thanks to all the guys leaving comments and all your positive stuff you're leaving. I appreciate it a lot because, uh, you know, on YouTube there's a ton of these guys that are out there with nothing better to do than troll around and leave really what they call hate comments. And I've been through all that and I'm sure I'll continue to go through that. But uh, for the guys that are supportive, I appreciate that a lot. It makes it all worthwhile. You know, when, you're, when your day is going crazy and you're in a bad mood, it's nice to come in and see, sit on the computer and look at all the positive things that people say. So I'm going to continue on with these lessons with you guys. Uh, <clears throat> I've been teaching a long time, like 32 years, and I've taught over 150,000 guitar lessons in 30 years. So I can help you out, definitely. I know quite a lot of stuff. Um, I've studied music all my life, and I continue to study music. And I, uh, of course, everybody's always asking me about students that I've taught. Did you teach so-and-so? Did you teach so-and-so? And, you know, I used to get annoyed with it, but all I can say is, yeah, I did. It was a long time ago, and, you know, it was for a while, a long, long period of time. And so, you know, it's cool. Just uh, try to get out of it what you can get out of it. Don't worry about copying, you know, whoever the latest famous guitar player is. Because my approach with these guys and all the lessons I teach is going to be the same approach I do in these videos. It's the, the, the thread is continual all the way through. And uh, all I have done is enhanced it and refined it over the years. So when people are asking me, uh, are these the same lessons you taught Buckethead? Well, they are, but they're not because I've improved upon them since that time, way long ago. You know, so I've improved these lessons. I've got better printouts and better ways of organizing things and different angles and different approaches. So they are, but they're better. They're they're actually more. There's more to it now, and uh, that's to your advantage. Okay, um, all these lessons are up on YouTube. I'm putting them all these up here. Uh, in hopes that when and you know eventually when my DVDs come out and are for sale that I'll have a built-in base of hungry customers who want to buy them already so actually all this is for selfish reasons if you want to look at it that way but uh, for, for now you know I, I, I just do this for you guys because uh, there's so much information I have I mean if you really just think about you know I've been playing since 1966 man and I've been studying guitar since then and I've studied with some really heavyweight players for a long time and I've been to some really top-of-the-line music schools and I teach guitar university and I teach a lot of private students I've been doing so for 30 something years so uh, you know hang in there with these lessons there's plenty more if you go to my syllabus on the website and download that you can see we're barely scratching the surface on all these lessons uh, but I want to touch today a little bit on something that uh, I I have to tell you guys how to do this because I have a lot of students who learn guitar lessons from guitar teachers and their guitar teachers don't teach them jack shit. They teach them a few songs. They teach them, you know, little hodgepodges of different theory information that they know. Mostly because they don't know shit. They, they're retards. They don't study. They put this much effort into learning their instrument and this much effort into studying theory so and they try to teach you what they know which is basically worse than a fly I mean it's terrible but the problem is uh, a lot of these teachers will teach guitar on what I call the rote method and that's just you know parroting what somebody shows you like somebody wants to learn a solo to Stairway to Heaven for example so they show you the solo right <laughs> but they don't show you what scales that are that are being used they just show you the notes and the solo so the student can learn the solo but they can't really figure out how to incorporate those ideas into their own playing um, what I do when I teach solos is first before we do the solo we figure out what key it's in then we figure out what scales are being used then I, then I make the students learn the scales first that's your roadmap for what the solo is doing I've had great great success with all my students doing it that way second thing what I want to touch on today 
uh, chords, okay? A lot of teachers give you this basic chord book stuff, you know. We're going to learn a D chord, you know, a G, a C, you know, A. They, you know, a lot of teachers just teach you those basic chords, you know, which is fine. But you know what? All the guys that have studied with me know bazillions of chords, and here's why. Because I teach beginners in a different way, my way of doing it, all right? And this is something you guys are really going to like. I know, I know, I know, I know you can use it, and I know you guys, the light bulb's going to go off, and you're going to start using this stuff right away, and you're going to freak out yourself. You're going to freak out all the people that live in your house, which is a good thing, and then you'll be thanking me again for this lesson because when I teach beginners how to use chords and how to learn chords, I put my slant on it once again and you see all my students who they are and what the results are. So, you know, you got to trust me on this. Okay, here we go. So, here's the deal. I call it core, basic chord explorations. Okay, explorations. Now, in order to learn basic chords, you got to get this chord grid paper. You got to get this. Go to my website and download it. Make some on your own. Whatever you got to do, get yourself a stack of these. Not one, not two, about 20 of these, all right? The next thing you need is the most important invention of all humanity. It's called a device of writing, all right? Get one of these devices of writing and learn how to hold it and learn how to use it, all right? Just kidding. Anyway, here's the deal. We're going we're gonna to learn some chords, and you're going to write them down as we go, okay? This is, this is real important. Don't bypass this step. Go to my website and download these. And, you know, if you can't find them, you know, keep fishing around there up there. I don't know the exact path and file name off the top of my head, but my website's www.pbguitarstudio.com. Go to Lesson Downloads, and they should be under the Guitar tab and PD, or Neck Diagrams and stuff like that. Download those, and then you may want to get uh, the longer ones with the full neck on there for doing your, you know, longer chords and your scales. Okay, so download those, print them out, you know, make yourself a stack of these. Okay, all right. Now, next thing we do, chord explanations. I, I, what I show these beginner guys is, uh, of course, we go over the, you know, A seven, you know, D, D seven. You see that okay? Alright. That's fine. Every book on the planet, every beginning guitar book on the world is going to teach you how to do that stuff. Go get those books. If you don't know those basic chords, you know, go learn them. Get the chord. You know, practice these chords. Now, here's how you practice them. I did this in a previous video. I'm going to go over it again. You play the chord, D7. Say it out loud to yourself. Mentally say it to yourself. Look where your fingers are. Stare, you know, do this. Stare at the chord, right? And then take your hand slowly off the neck and set your hand down on your knee, on your leg. Now look where your fingers were. Look at the neck. See those three empty spots. Imagine three little white lights there where your fingers were. Now reach up very slowly and form that chord in the air and land it. Okay? It's called the chord memorization technique. You gotta know that.